I, this is exciting. I, I think um, when, when we started, our hope was to create an organization uh, that was filled with the Holy Spirit and spread the baptism in the Holy Spirit uh, freely, gave it away, that would be transformative in the marketplace uh, and in the lives of people that are out there in all kinds of jobs, every every category. We didn't we didn't have any specific category in mind. We thought every anybody that has a, any kind of a job uh, should be able to be a part of this because we really believed from the beginning that. God wanted each one of us to be a light in the marketplace. And that was that was a part of our initial vision. The name Christians in Commerce was a borrowed name. There was a, a breakfast group that had started here in the Twin Cities um, that came up with the name Christians in Commerce, and they merged into what we were doing when we started Christians in Commerce here. And uh, we just kind of borrowed their name because we, we hadn't really thought about a name at that point. <laughs> and uh, we had all kinds of ideas about what we might be able to do. But when we launched, all we really had was the Challenge Weekend. And we weren't even sure what it would look like to have chapters or anything like that. All that stuff just started getting invented as we went along. And... Um, our, our hope was always that we'd be able to have a, a much broader entry point for people. We saw that the, the challenge weekend or whatever context that which type of an identity that became, that that would be something uh, that the, the core content that's there needed to be communicated and passed on to people coming in. And we had that as our gate coming in because um, we wanted everybody to be able to be on the same page as part of the organization. But I think we've got other tools now, uh, especially uh, working for our father is a, is a, a great introduction and a lot of the other materials because they're consistent with the thinking in that they all serve as a great introduction into what we're tr trying to be and trying to do and at some point people need to go I think still through that that passageway where they get the the core uh, content but if it if it's two years later as it was for Luke I think that's terrific I, I don't think that really matters it's uh, because there's a lot of it that you just kind of pick up and absorb from each other as you're going along. And as you're sharing daily life in the small groups especially, um, those, things are, those things are rubbing off on you. You, you. you pick them up from each other. And, and that's where you grow in a hunger to understand what it is that I'm really getting into. Uh, so I, I, I'm excited about this. I think it's really a terrific that's direction. Right. And uh, I, I admit, the first time I heard work light, I thought, uh, where do I get one of those? <laughs> <laughs> or is it L-I-T-E? <laughs> yes, yeah, so, uh, yeah, or work light, yes, L-I-T-E. Uh, I'd like that job. And, uh, <laughs> but, it, but as soon as you put light in the, dar light the darkness and the, the flame over the uh, eye, uh, the message is clear. Uh, to those who see, uh, and it and it's subversive enough that for those that don't see, they can get caught. <laughs> so I, I think it's really good. The uh, you know the reality of it is Christians and Communists would re reinforce this. The last thing is it doesn't resonate with the audience we're trying to reach. Commerce does not. That's the issue, and we have all this affection for it because we spent 20, 30 years together in it, and it's taken on its own meaning around that, you know, but there's no future in it because we're dying off. <laughs> and we need to hand our, hand our legacy on to another generation. <laughs>